Welcome. This is my latest video on my series with the FL Sun Q5 3D printer. And if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the printer and the filament I'm using. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to print a 19 millimeter socket and see if I can remove a lug nut with it. So I'll open up the socket here. And this is my second attempt at this. I was making a long socket before, but it was going to take a long time to print, so I made it a short socket instead. So let's look at the model here real quick. So I have a 19 millimeter socket and it's a half inch square drive and then I put a circle transition between the two. I was going to leave this filled in but on the regular chrome socket I have it looks kind of like this and I took the measurements off of it. It doesn't have to be exact as long as this is a little bit over half inch and this is a little bit more than 19 millimeters. So for my settings here, I want to do 100% infill and no support material. So I'll slice it. it. Says it's going to take one hour and 12 minutes and it's going to cost me 25 cents. So I'm going to print this and I'll have to see if it even fits and if it doesn't, I'll have to modify my model a little bit and reprint it. So I'm gonna start this printing and then I'll come back when it's all finished. Okay, the part has finished printing, so I'll take it off here. Boy, it was barely adhered. So on the right is the socket I printed. The left is the one I modeled it after. So I didn't put in the little uh, indent there or at the top. I put a little tiny, uh, not chamfer, but round over here, but it was probably so small it didn't print. Let's see if there's any flex here. It's pretty stiff, like if I'm squeezing on it. So I'm going to head out to my car, and I'm going to see if I can take off a lug nut with this. Okay, so I have my ratchet here. I'll put the socket on the end. And I didn't put an indent in here, so this will slip right off. Well, it's gripping it pretty good, actually. Okay, it fits over the lug nut. Let's see how it does. Well, it seemed like it was starting to work, but it broke. Let's see where it broke. So it broke right here, and right here is the middle of the socket. So it transitions kind of between the half inch and the 19 millimeter. So that was a pretty good snap. So I wonder how I could make this work. I thought if I had some fiberglass tape or fiberglass mesh, I could wrap that around the perimeter and then that would hold that together a lot better, It'd reinforce it. I don't know if I could like put fiberglass mesh around this and then drip some acetone on there to dissolve it just a little bit and then glue it together. I don't know, but it seemed like it almost worked and I'm not sure. I don't know if it started loosening it or if this started yielding, but it seemed like it might almost work. Another thing you could do is make a thicker socket. So this is kind of a thin walled socket. You could measure how much room you had and you know make it quite a bit thicker. I had just measured the dimensions of my chrome socket, but you really don't have to stick to those. Now you have to be careful because you can only have so big of a socket that'll fit in here. So but I thought it was an interesting experiment. So maybe I'll continue on and try and figure out how to make this work. This isn't super feasible to create a socket set full of plastic sockets, but say you were missing a socket and you needed to get something off, you could potentially 3D print something, you know, take off the one nut, throw the socket away or whatever, you know. If you could use it once, it might save you a lot of trouble. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.